So yeah, these pictures are real and this is what Facebook Reality Labs presented today. Probably the smallest VR headset demonstrated to date. Hey, Tan here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel and let's discover together how they pull it off. How it's possible to make a VR headset that small, considering what we have right now, for example? Well, let's get into it in this deep tech dive video. Okay, so to start we have to say that this is the real product, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna be in our hands anytime soon because this is more a proof of concept. So that means that they're trying a new technology to be able to then build in the future headsets that are smaller and smaller. We already talked about headsets getting smaller in different videos. We already have something that is gonna arrive very, very soon, thanks to all the Qualcomm roadmaps using external hardware like your phone as the like core of your system and then using the viewers or the VR headsets or glasses that can be much smaller because they don't have to contain anything beside, of course, the optics and the screens. But even with the optics and screens in a regular way, well, we can't really get with the technology we have right now to form factors that are like a pair of uh, sunglasses, like we see in this proof of concept over here. So what are the problems that you have to solve uh, with VR? Well, the fact that you have a screen very, very close to your eyes. So try to take your phone, for example, and put it very, very close. You're not gonna be able to focus on the image and so, well, we are not gonna be able to read and that's why you are using lenses in front of the screen that though they have to stay at a certain distance. That's why we have the immersion that we have in VR thanks to these lenses. With pocket lenses is a very similar thing but the lenses are bigger, for example, but they can stay closer to the screen. So that's where they're moving on with that sets like the Pico, not that one, the Panasonic or the Huawei and many, many others that are gonna arrive in the future. So Facebook here is trying to solve this problem and to see if we can get the form factor even smaller. And to do that, they created a folded holographic optics. Let's explain them. So first of all, don't expect like lenses just folded enough. Uh, it's not like that. We're more talking about folding light than folding the lenses themselves because the light has to travel for a certain distance to be able to be uh, then redirect in the right way to be able for you to focus on the image that the light source is projecting. So how do you create this distance where this distance physically is not really there. Well, it's created by bouncing the light and through polarization. What does it mean? Well, I feel like Road to VR explained it in a very, very clever way. So let me just uh, quote them. You can think of it like a piece of paper with an arbitrary width. When you fold the paper enough, the paper itself is still just as wide as you when you started, but its width occupies less space because you folded it over on itself. So as you can see in this image, the light has to bounce before arriving to your eyes. But how do you get the light to bounce instead of passing through to then get to your eyes? That's what you want. At the end of the day, that's true polarization. So certain colors can pass, certain not. And so you create a bounce and then in the moment you polarized in the right way, the color, the beam of light can arrive directly to your eyes. Now with polarization, you're able to bounce the light back and forth many different times. So you can get the screen very, very close to the lenses but of course then the width is limited by the size of the lenses. So, well, where's the solution? Well, holographic lenses. Well, that's where thing gets very, very interesting and that's what actually blew me away about this research. Now, we all know what holograms are. It's pretty much the base of AR, where you have an object that materializes in the real world and you can go around, see it, and every angle gets even inside it. So the light of the hologram is not something flat like a picture, but but it's actually something 3D, completely a kind of an object created by light and it's called light field. And we had an example also with the Google light field in the past on how you can capture something, an image, not really as an image anymore, but as a cluster of light from different sources to then have a real representation and be able to see the object in every angle. So what if instead of using a regular lens, we actually use a projection of the lens. We memorize the light field created by a lens and we use this hologram of the lens to then display these light beams that arrive to our eyes. It sounds crazy, <laughs> I know. It's true. 
pretty much Facebook captured the hologram of the real lens and they put it in a very thin layer of holographic film. So they're able to project this lens directly and you'll be able to see through the le this lens because the lens is created of a light field. So it's gonna interact with the light anyway and you're gonna be able to display the image even uh, if it's very, very close to your eyes. So yeah, it's not a real lens, but it's an hologram of the real lens that gives the same property of the real lens. If this is not my blowing for you, well, uh, I'm done here. Okay, so this is the core of this research through this folded holographic optics. We're gonna be able to have, etc. as much, it's much smaller even than the regular side of the lens using just an holographic film and a representation of the lens holographically. But what is the focus of this research, of course, is to make this headset smaller and smaller every time. And looking a little more at the future of it, because right now we're gonna still rely on regular optics, but then in the future, optics are gonna be too big to be like putting glasses or stuff like that. So that's why we have this kind of researches right now. Now, the interesting thing is this is actually a functioning prototype. So it's something that you can use already, but of course it's not a regular headset that you will use to play all your experiences and stuff because to contain, of course, the size inside, there's no GPU, battery, stuff like that. There's not even a light source. They're using lasers to create the backlight, for example, because the LED is just too big in there. Also for now, this is just a monochromatic display. If you remember, we saw like in the Mojo Vision, something similar, where it's just in a green palette, just one color can pass through these holographic lenses and stuff through polarization and stuff. And that's what we have right now. Of course, in the future, we're gonna be able to pass through all the different colors, create a regular screen. And thanks to the size of the screen, it's very small, like micro OLED, we're gonna be able to have a very high resolutions, but those displays are not here yet to support something like this. Now, another interesting thing is that this size still allows a very wide FOV. So you can expect from here, the same FOV that we have right now on the market with our regular headsets. So what should we do? We should just stop buying VR headsets because something like this will arrive in the market. Well, not yet because probably will take around 10 years to have a production of micro OLED and displays with resolution high enough to be stay that close uh, to your eyes. But well, this is a proof of concept. That means the technology is there. They're able to create a lens just holographically and be able to let you experience the virtual world just with a pair of glasses. Well, they can look from outside, but at the same time, there's still some problem like the eye box that is not big enough. So it's gonna be not really a stereoscopical view for now at least. But at the end of the day, every time that I see this article, I'm always blown away by how fast the technology is going and how crazy are the ideas that are driving it. Like what idea of use a holographic lens instead of regular lens? And how is that even possible? Well, we discussed it uh, just in this video, but at the end of the day, it's like, I still can't believe it a little. So is this mind blowing for you? Well, let me know in the comment below. For now, we are still to stay with our regular headsets like those, uh, but yeah, the future looks very, very bright indeed. And I hope you're ready for the Ready Player One kind of visors that we're gonna have, because that is going to happen. But anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech and videos like this one, where we go a little more in depth about the tech behind stuff and what to expect from the future. If you really love the channel, you can support like the super cool people down here. Uh, it helps a lot to keep going with the content. And at the same time, you can check out the t-shirts in the description below or the stickers. They are super, super cool. And for now, that's all. So again, like, dislike, subscribe. I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.